Hi, welcome to this video where we're taking a look at the Steve Gadd Sunny Emery warm up exercise you may have seen on YouTube recently. And uh, I had a student in the other day asking about it, so I thought it might be good to break it down. It's essentially accents in a triplet role. And so, first up, what do we mean by that? So, basically, if you play single stroke eighth note triplets, I'll step the quarter note on the hats. you ideally need the ability to double those notes. So it can be a good idea to start off uh, playing half a bar of each, half a bar of singles, half a bar of double strokes. So when we're playing the single strokes, we're playing three eighth note triplets per beat. And when we're playing the double strokes, we're playing six notes, 16th note triplets. So once you've got half a bar, then let's try moving on to a bar of each. So once you're comfortable with that and able to feel the pulse running through that triplet roll, the common mistake is for the hands to fall out of time. So if that starts to happen, then just keep switching back to the single strokes, uh, wherever you feel you need to, if the time is feeling a little wobbly. But ultimately, you want to be able to just ma maintain that double stroke roll. Next, we're going to introduce some accents. First up, we're going to accent what you could think of within the bar as being beats one and beats three. And if we do that, it's going to fall in your right hand. And essentially what you're doing is playing an 11 stroke roll. More of that in a minute. Let's just play that figure as single strokes. and you've probably guessed it, to bring us back to the triplet roll, we're going to double all those unaccented notes that are left on the snare. So that adds up to 10 notes. It's actually five double strokes. And so the 11th note uh, is the accented note. Something that's really important to note here uh, in this example and all the remaining examples is that we don't double the accented note and its, and its, its value is twice the value of, of the double strokes. More of that in a moment. Let's now alternate between a bar of single strokes and a bar of double strokes. Okay, so let's get the left hand involved a bit and we'll move those accents to beats two and four, which will fall in your left hand. So once again, play the single strokes first and then into the double strokes. So next, we're going to accent all four quarter notes. So they'll coincide with your stepped hi-hat notes and alternate hand to hand. And once again, we'll double the notes that are unaccented and fall between the accented notes. So that'll be two double strokes. And it should sound familiar because basically these are five stroke rolls. One mummy daddy, two mummy daddy, three mummy daddy, four mummy daddy.
A really important variation of that phrase, if you want to start phrasing with these accents in the triplet role, is to play the accent on the upbeat or the third partial of the triplet, one triplet, two triplet. So once again, singles to doubles. Three, four. And so to conclude those two examples, let's play a bar of each. So you're playing a bar of downbeats and a bar of upbeats, and that should give us all the ingredients we need to actually play the four bar Steve Gadd example. So uh, bar of uh, quarter notes, bar of upbeat eighth notes. So to bring us back to the exercise in question, the one final ingredient we need is to play a 10 stroke roll. So basically we take the 11 stroke roll that we did a few minutes ago and we add another accent onto the end. Uh, so you could imagine we're accenting beat one and three plus the and of two and four. And so bars one and two are two five stroke rolls and a 10 stroke roll. Bar three is four five stroke rolls. And bar four is the same as bars one and two, two five stroke rolls and a 10 stroke roll. Okay, so let's play that whole four bar pattern. We'll start with a pickup note on the and of four of the previous bar. I'll play it through once as single strokes as well and then introduce the double strokes. And if you watch them play this, you'll notice after a couple of repeats, they change the first bar to be two 10 stroke rolls, like this. So there you go, that's how you play that example. And with a bit of practice, you can hopefully pick up the, the tempo and, and maintain the really cleanly articulated double strokes. I'll just run each variation a couple of times at the sort of tempo you see on the uh, original video.